the face of shrinking oil reserves, the quest for new sources of oil continues. These new sources of oil and gas are more difficult to extract for various reasons. Reserves of oil are being extracted at greater temperatures and higher pressures in contact with harsh chemicals. These operating conditions are often labeled HPHT, high pressure, high temperature, and encompass applications where thermal stability and resistance to rapid gas decompression may be important to elastomer specifiers. Chemicals such as carbon dioxide, methane, hydrogen sulfide, steam and ammonia are sometimes reported present in HBHD applications. Under high pressure, gas will become liquid as shown on the phase diagram and may penetrate the polymer elastomer matrix. Upon rapid pressure release, a phase change will occur, changing the liquid into gas. Breakdown of the elastomer in the form of blistering, internal cracking and splitting can occur if gas entrapped in the elastomer cannot migrate out easily. Industrial requirements have led to the development of NORSOC M710 standard. According to this standard, institutes such as MERL certify parts used in this application that might encounter rapid gas decompression. At the DuPont European Technical Center in Marin, we are equipped to run tests to assist in developing formulations based on high-performance fluorinated and perfluorinated elastomers such as Viton and Calres. Tests at DuPont are performed on O-rings in autoclaves at up to 20 megapascals of carbon dioxide and at a temperature of up to 200 degrees centigrade. Carbon dioxide under these conditions is a very powerful solvent. However, other gases could also be used. After typical exposure to these conditions for 24 hours, the autoclaves are decompressed at a well-controlled rate. The autoclave is opened and after another 24 hours conditioning, the O-rings are released from the jigs for inspection under a microscope and rated according to the NORSOC M710 standard. O-rings are cut in four segments and are examined under a microscope for cracks. This allows for ratings between 0 and 5 depending on the numbers and types of cracks. The best rating is 0 if there are no cracks at all. Ratings of 1 to 3 where a few minor cracks are observed, are still accepted. Ratings between 4 and 5 are rejected because they have too many large cracks or are even broken. Thanks to the ability to run such tests, DuPont was able to help customers develop Python compounds in considering these stringent requirements in oil and gas exploration for rapid gas decompression conditions, as well as to commercialize the latest CalRES compound 0090, which has been officially certified by Merle under the NORSOC M710 standard.